Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a weekly reading for the week of April 8th through the 14th. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We are just going to see what comes up for Aquarius for the week of April 8th through the 14th. What do we have? Amen. Resisting change. That is resisting change, unfortunately it is. I mean, the, de the uh, hangman is stuck, you know, needing to face some sort of struggle, sacrificing themselves needlessly, limiting themselves. We have somebody that is limiting themselves. You know, you have to have a new perspective and you've got to get unstuck, but the only person that can get you unstuck is you. So I think it's time to let go of something. I think that... You know, you may be trying to resist a change, but it's time. It's time to let go where you're at. There may not be any relationship growth. There may not be a feeling of emotionally emotional contentment there. You could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces specifically. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces could be could be uh, Scorpio or Cancer as well, but we have water energy here. You could be holding on to somebody who's not emotionally available to you. Maybe you're holding on to somebody who doesn't really give you any emotional support. It's like there's no relationship growth here. This person could be withdrawn emotionally. They could be very controlling and manipulative. They could use their emotional blackmail as a tool against you. Um, I'm not sure, but whoever you're dealing with, it doesn't have to be a water sign, but there's strong water in their chart, put it that way. That's what it looks like to me. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is not um, a very happy person, put it that way. Um, now you have to make a choice, the two of wands. Do you want to stay in this predicament or do you want to move forward? You're at that crossroads and you have this opportunity to move forward and leave it behind you. And that's where you're at. This is this is where you're at right now. This is making that choice. Do you, you know, can you turn your back on this situation that is lacking or what? I mean, it's an opportunity for change right now. You're at that crossroads. You have to choose. You have to choose. So I think you're in the process of making a choice. I think that there's a little bit of fear of change, though. I think that you have another option. Um, and now you have to decide whether you want to stay or whether you want to go. All right. You're thinking about walking away from this person. You really are. You're thinking about just letting it go. And I think that you are you know, needing to make a judgment call. <laughs> I think that you have an opportunity to release and and rise up and accept another opportunity. I feel like you are going through some sort of awakening right now. You are going through some sort of um, transition in your life. And, you know, I think that you know the truth. I think that you're trying to be practical. You're trying to be wise. I think that right now you are you are probably trying to keep your stability you may be holding on to uh, your own stability I don't know maybe maybe you're uh, dreaming this is dreaming I think that you're really dreaming of something more I think that you're afraid to take a risk though I think you are afraid to take a risk you but you may be dealing with an earth sign that has a big offer for you okay you could be, I mean, right in the middle of the reading, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, who has something really big, big to offer. So maybe you're dealing with another person who has something, a really big, big opportunity for you. And now you have to make a decision as to whether, you know, you want this or not. I feel like this is a, this is an opportunity to have really wish fulfillment with that star card. I mean, this is you. This is a dream come true. The dream come true. I think that you have another opportunity, something stable, something solid, but perhaps, you know, you know, there's definitely fear, fear of taking a risk, fear of starting over, fear of, maybe you're afraid that you won't be able to take care of yourself. Maybe you're afraid that you're going to be alone. Maybe you're afraid that, um, to give up your independence, or maybe you're afraid to be alone, one or the other. I feel as though a lot of you are thinking about your independence. Independence is a big part of this scenario. I think that you have the skills to be self-sufficient. Maybe right now you're working on your abundance, you're working on your money, you're working on your finances. 
Um, you could be, you could have somebody that has something, something to give you. Maybe that, you, maybe you have a person that is coming into your life, and they they have some kind of money to give you. Because this this could be, you know, abundance coming into your life. Put it that way. Maybe even a gift from another person. Um, you could be receiving a gift. You you absolutely could be receiving a gift. Maybe. Maybe you are waking up that you are receiving a gift. Maybe you're seeing that you are receiving a gift in another person, but you got to walk away from somebody else. I mean, that's kind of what this looks like. You may be stuck and you may be sacrificing yourself needlessly on a person or a situation that there's no love there. There's no reciprocation. It's like they're not invested at all. It's like they're not even there. And you have the opportunity to move in a new direction. And I think that you see the truth. You're you're going through some sort of awakening and release. You have this gift that is being offered to you. And you're afraid to take it. And that's what it looks like to me. So I feel like you're being given a blessing. You are. I think that you've been given a blessing of some sort. But you just got to take it. You've got you to gotta realize that this is a blessing. And maybe you are starting to realize You may decide to accept the offer, the Four of Cups. This is, this is you know, you've been focused on the loss for so long. Maybe now you've come to the point you get this epiphany that this is love. This is an opportunity for love. There's been, a, there's been some inaction. I think you've been thinking about it quite a bit, quite a bit. And I feel like you realize that you have a, a better suitor. I think that you do. I think that you have a better suitor, somebody that is very well suited for you. This person could be a little bit younger than you. I think you have an exciting opportunity that, that's been on your mind a lot. You've been thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. And I think that, you know, there's an opportunity probably to, you know, reconcile with somebody from your a past life. This is a past life connection to me. And I, and I really feel like this is a past life connection with somebody that... You know, you have an opportunity to be extremely happy with and, you know, you just have to break free of that mentality that you have to prove yourself or that you're not good enough or whatever the case is. I feel like you guys are really struggling with walking away from a situation that brought you to your knees and now you have an opportunity to stand back up and head towards a passionate new start. I think that you've received an invitation from somebody or you see an invitation or you see an opportunity with somebody that is very attractive. This person is attractive. This person is self-sufficient. This person has a lot to offer and I feel like you you want it but for some reason you're afraid to take action. Um, you definitely, I think that you could be you could be dealing with a fire sign or an earth sign. We have a lot of earth energy here. Definitely a soulmate connection. Definitely, with the King and Queen of Pentacles, you got you got a perfect match here, waiting for you. It's waiting for you, and whoever this person is that you are dealing with, you are enough. You are enough. You have enough to offer. You will complement each other very well. So I think that you've been thinking, you know, you've been thinking, do I have enough to offer? Do I have enough to offer? Yes, you have enough to offer. Yes, you do. So I feel as though, you know, you may decide to accept. Um, you've been, hold somebody's been holding on to a false sense of security for too long. It's already, it's come to a, a point of, you know, the explosion has already happened. It, it's time to rebuild. And I think that you are you know, starting to become more grounded. You're starting to realize that, you know, you'll have an opportunity to reconnect with or to connect with, even for the first time with a, you know, I feel like this is a past life connection. I don't know where this is coming from, but this is like a past life connection. It's like you've known each other before. I think something has been removed or needs to be removed from your life so that you can come together with this person. It's a perfect match. It is a perfect match. But there's fear of taking a risk. There's fear of starting over. And there's fear that you're not good enough. It's like you've got to prove yourself. You don't need to prove yourself. You don't. Anyhow. 
I think that right now you're in the process of making a decision, a decision to accept this 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 gift or not. Um, right now, you may feel like you're a victim of your circumstances. You may feel like you don't, you can't ask this person for help, or you may feel like you don't have enough. You do have enough. Let this person help you. This person can help you, whoever this person is. It's time to let go of the tension. It's time to let go of your reluctance you know as soon as you stop fighting it you will have like instant relief so i feel like you you are dealing with a lot of inner conflict right now i think that you are really really five 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 you are really really struggling with this major life change i think that you have been through a major life change you have been through some sort of major upheaval in your life and now this has all happened by the way to bring you to bring you this gift that you are seeing I think you know I think that there's a gift right in front of you and I think you know what it is I really do anyway five 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 expect the unexpected <laughs> I think there's a, a feeling of you know major change that has happened that has caught you off guard it's probably like uh, taking you aback okay with the five 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 it's it's caused a lot of instability. It's like you don't know what the hell is going on now. Five 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 is about letting go of the old and bringing in the new. That's why this major change has happened. Now you have to make a make make a major choice in regards to your future foundation. It's time to rebuild. It is time to rebuild. Whoever you are dealing with in the future is a perfect 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 match. And I feel like you have to. You know, let go, let down, let down your guard, let go of your reluctance, you know, face your fears and accept this new passionate opportunity. I think there's a, you are receiving an invitation to just, you know, start over to walk away and write into something completely different. I feel like you are probably starting to see things clearly. You may decide that you know what you're not gonna you're not gonna hide your true feelings anymore. Um, I feel like you may find your strength and your courage and your confidence to let go to face your fears. So I hope that's the case. I feel as though you guys are in the process of releasing a very difficult, traumatic situation, and you're about to. Uh, I think come together with your perfect match. I don't know why I keep saying this, but I feel like it's a soulmate connection from your past. I think that you're reluctant, but I see that you may be deciding to, it looks like you may be letting go of your fears, because this is letting go, and this is letting go, and, that, and this is letting go. So I think you may be deciding to let go of this false sense of security and, and extend love, accept love, real love, true love. I don't know where that's coming from. But we're going to get a couple of these, two of these for Aquarius. I think you've been stuck on a situation where there was no love, and I think you're starting to wake up. That judgment card is waking up to the truth, seeing the truth. It really is about a this new, oper new passionate invitation that you have received. A new suitor. You've got a new suitor here. And I think there's a lot of attraction between the two of you. I do see a lot of attraction think that release your ex release the one okay the one that is gone let him go the one that you are that is gone that is not love, reciprocating you know the one that is not this one up here could be the pisces or the water sign or whoever that person was up there that i was talking about i don't know what sign they are release them because you have a new love here that's what i see we're gonna shuffle one more card for Aquarius. Playfulness. Yeah, that's good advice. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Go have some fun. Let's get one of these. I feel like you guys have to find the courage and the confidence to go after what you deserve. I feel like you have a soulmate connection here waiting for you. It's just waiting for you to accept it. There it is. Ooh. Discover your life's purpose. 
Discover your life purpose. 29 equals 11. Soulmate connection. I'm telling you what, you got a soulmate connection waiting for you. Take a look how beautiful that is. He's like playing the violin for her and she's just in awe. It's, I'm telling you what, it's meant to be. It is. You got somebody else. I know you do. Discover your life purpose. Start asking yourself, what is the meaning of your life? As a soul who is having a physical experience, you are here to grow and learn. You are being asked to immerse yourself in this life by expanding, stretching, and understanding your reasons for being here. Nothing is impossible for a soul who is following his or her destiny. Your guides, angels, and higher self are constantly com communicating with you through signs, feelings, people, and books, etc. Follow your hunches. You are being given important guidance, which may sh show up via a strong feeling, to travel somewhere, to speak to someone, attend a seminar, write, paint, etc. Whatever feeling, whatever feeling. No matter how far-fetched your inner guidance is, is you need to listen. Your soul's purpose includes a combination of experiences that your mind doesn't understand, but that your soul needs to process to learn and grow. Some of these experiences will be enjoyable and heightened. Others will be challenging and cause you to struggle, but through them you will know yourself. Give yourself permission to focus on what makes your heart sing. Input your intensity of emotion into attracting what you desire. I'm telling you what, there's a, there's a connection here that is waiting for you to accept it or see it. If you haven't seen it yet, it's coming. But the thing is, is you've got to release. That's if it, it, some, Somebody needs to release this person that... You know, it's, there's no love there. I'm sorry, but that's what it is. So, good luck. I don't sugarcoat. I'm sorry. 